Good evening, I am looking to tell you a little bit about my new book, The Sidewinder. Ta-da! So this is officially coming out on the 1st of December um, with my publisher Solstice, but um, if you want to be really sneaky you can go on Amazon now and there's paperbacks and ebooks too, uh, and then hopefully in a few weeks you'll be able to get it in some local bookshops. Also for anybody near Bangor on the Sunday the 2nd of December, we're having a book launch in the really cool record shop. Uh, bending signs in Bangor and um, we're going to have all different bits and pieces and because this book is partly sort of set in the 90s in a, in a local rock band we're going to have some 90s music playing and have some freebies to give away and whatnot. Um, so yes it's called The Sidewinder I shall read you the, the blurb from the back um, well the sort of tagline is three sides to every murder yours mine and the truth um, when two members of a former 90s band die in suspicious circumstances, the surviving members are embroiled in a web of murder, revenge, love and deceit. Follow the now politician, journalist, session musician and police officer as they attempt to uncover the truth through many dark twists and turns. Nothing is as it appears in the sidewinder. Mm. Hopefully that will um, whet your appetite a wee bit. Maybe not. Um, so yes, I'm here in my, my writerly man cave area where I do some of my scribbling. Um, so basically I've been working on this. I uh, probably started it about, about a year ago, something like that. And yes, it's basically kind of has a couple of different narratives going on from a different two different characters mostly. And then there's a kind of climax at the end, which is told in the third person. Um, but there's flashbacks to this 90s band and, and we're kind of following what's happening in the present day as these... Uh, sort of various former members are turning up dead in different circumstances. Um, so sp part of the inspiration for it, um, well, I'm very into different types of music. Um, I like a lot of music from the 90s. My friends like to tease me about being a dinosaur. Um, I love bands like Therapy from, from Northern Ireland. Um, there's a bit in this <coughs> where the fictional band, because um, they're called, the band's called Sidewinder, go off on tour with Therapy. Um, and the, the title came from, I'm a big fan of uh, particularly sort of hard bop jazz and Lee Morgan. So I took the title from one of my favourite jazz albums, it's, it's called The Sidewinder. Um, I liked it too because um, even when he was using it for his album and he was saying he was a fan of those kind of um, slightly dodgy characters like in old westerns Lee Morgan was talking about um, and the sort of nature of the sidewinder sort of twisting and turning and not really knowing the, the truth. Um, in fact, it's probably, I've probably got my, I like to have my LPs on when I'm writing this probably. Oops. Is that a beef heart? Uh, well, there's Mr. Morgan, but it's not that one. Uh, there it is, so there's the namesake. Um, the Sidewinder by Lee Morgan. Yes, that would be a good uh, recommended album to stick on in the background if you do buy the book. Um, oh, and there is, uh, for anybody who remembers it, there's Magic. It was one of my early bands and my friends. <laughs> this, is not, this is not an autobiogra uh, autobiographical book. But <laughs> I've been in various bands. Um, in the book, the band were meant to have sort of part success. But I wouldn't even say we had really any success other than sometimes our girlfriends turning up the gigs and people's mums. Um, <coughs> there's the, I'll just give you, I'll give you a quick tour. Um, some of my, my favourite writers are about, there's Raymond Chandler um, on the wall and what else have we got? Uh, well, there's the ATMV dog. Bit of Greg Dilly, a little bit of Greg Dilly on when I'm writing and um, lots of good crime fiction related songs with the Afghan wigs. Um, oh yes, Richard Stark. I think it's always important uh, to have crime fiction in case of emergency. Um, and you can't do better than Richard Stark. <laughs> uh, so thanks very much for bearing with me. And for any interested, um, you can get a copy. Uh, it's out now. Thanks very much. Cheerio.